Hi, I'm Raj Vijay Singh. I welcome you all to Mathscribe. In this video, I'm going to talk about inverse of a function. Basically, what's an inverse function? Inverse function is a function which can undo another function. Before we start, I must say, if you are fond of learning advanced math stuff, please click like and subscribe. To get to know about my A-level classes, visit mathscriber.com. So here we go. Let's get started. Inverse function is a function which can reverse the process. Now, if you consider y equals x plus 3. Now, this is a function. What happens is, now when x is 2, this function will give y, which is 2 plus 3, 5. Now, this is the function. So, inverse function, what it does is, it reverses the process. Now, that means, when you put 5, the, the inverse function should give the answer 2. You put 5, you get 2. So, how you are going to do it? Now, let's consider the function y equals ax plus b. So, first of all, to find the inverse function, what we do is, we subject this x. How to subject this x? We send this b other side. So, it is y minus b equals ax. So, x equals, this multiplication a will go other side. It is y minus b over a. Now, instead of x, we substitute, we replace this x by f inverse x, which we call inverse function and equals instead of this y we substitute x we replace x for y so this is x minus b over a so if this is the function inverse of this function is x minus b over a so when you consider this example y equals x plus 3 so if this is the function we subject x first of all x equals y minus 3 so instead of x, we substitute f inverse x and instead of y, we write x. So when we consider the function x plus 3, the inverse of that function is x minus 3. Now, when you are finding an inverse function, you must know this definition of a function. Function is a special relationship where each single real input has a single real output. Now, if you have something like this y equals root x now this is a function because root x is always positive so this is a function it's a function now if you consider something like this y equals square root x but in front you have something like plus or minus that means this x will give two real outputs plus or minus which is contradictory to the definition of a function so we must say this is not a function it's not a function okay so moving into two examples now if you consider y equals root x now this is a function if we want to find the inverse of the function first of all we have to subject x so x equals y square to get rid of this root we square both sides so instead of x we write f inverse x instead of y we replace x so this is the inverse function now if you consider y square equals i'm sorry x square equals y now we subject this x so x equals square root of y which is plus or minus instead of x we write f inverse x instead of y we write x but we have plus or minus which is contradictory to the definition so we can't consider this as a function so for this there's no inverse function now 
Having this in mind, let's look into a few examples which we can showcase the basic principles of finding inverse of a function. Alright, let's look into these three examples and I'll be discussing four examples and first look into these three examples. So first question y equals root x plus 2. Now how we are going to find the inverse function of this? Now first of all we are going to subject this x. So in order to do that we will square the both sides. So it is y square equals x minus x plus 2. Then we subject x. So we will get y square minus 2. So instead of x we will write f inverse x which uh, denotes inverse of the function and instead of y we replace x x square minus 2 so if you go this is the inverse function of y equals root x plus 2 moving on to the next example y equals x minus 2 over x plus 1 the first step we have a subject x so we'll send this root x plus 1 other side so it will be y times x plus 1 equals x minus 2 so we open the brackets y x plus y equals x minus 2 we'll send this x this side and y this side so it will be y x minus x equals minus y minus 2 then we'll take x out so it is y minus 1 equals minus y minus 2 so we subject this x y minus 1 is coming this side it is minus y minus 2 over y minus 1 so here we go instead of x we replace the inverse function f inverse x and instead of y we replace x so the inverse function is minus x minus 2 over x minus 1 so moving on to the third example now we have y equals x plus 3 whole thing square minus 2 now to subject x first of all we will bring this minus 2 other side it is y plus 2 equals x plus 3 square now to subject x first of all we take the square root so x plus 3 will be equal to square root of y plus 2 but since we are taking the square root we have to put plus or minus now we will send this 3 other side so it will be x equals uh, minus 3 plus or minus y plus 2 so we substitute x by f inverse x and minus 3 plus or minus instead of y we replace x x plus 2 now we have a problem here so if you remember the definition a function can't have two real outputs for one single real input so this is giving two real outputs which is contradicted to our definition so we have to conclude there's no inverse function for this y equals x plus 3 square minus 2 so we have to say now this is not working there's no inverse function here now moving on to the last example in this video let's look into our final example now let's consider fx equals x square minus 2x where the domain given as x greater or equal 1 now how to find the inverse function of this now instead of fx we'll write y since it's more convenient when subjecting x so it is x square minus 2x so to subject x first of all we have to complete this function as a square so to do that what we'll do is now the coefficient of x is minus 2 we'll divide it by 2 and square it which will give us answer as 1 we'll add that 1 and we'll subtract it which we didn't do anything wrong because the added one has been subtracted so we can write this expression as a complete square which is x minus 1 square minus 1 now it's very easy to subject x now now minus 1 will be taken this side it is y plus 1 equals x minus 1 square now x minus 1 we take the square root of both sides so it is y plus 1 since we are taking the square root we are supposed to put plus or minus now minus 1 will be taken this side so x will be 1 plus or minus y plus 1 now there's a problem now when it is plus or minus it's contradictory to this function's definition which we say that it should be given two real 
input shouldn't be given so it should, it should it should be giving only one single real output but here the situation is different since the domain is given as x greater or equal 1 so x has to be something more than 1 now this itself is 1 so to be x to be greater than 1 1 should be added by something not by subtracting now 1 minus y plus 1 will be giving something less than 1 which is contradictory to this domain x has to be greater or equal 1 so we have to reject this minus since if you subtract something from 1 x will be less than 1 so we have right since this domain is x greater or equal 1 we are rejecting this minus and we can write x equals 1 plus square root y plus 1 so here we go we have the answer inverse function instead of x we write f inverse x equals 1 plus we replace y by x x plus 1 so this is the inverse function of fx equals x square minus 2x so we are done with this and to practice this inverse function you should find more questions and do so here we go and i have finished this inverse function lesson uh, we'll meet with a new mathematics topic till then goodbye